Hello everyone, this is Dawn and this is the next installment of our retreat that we've been working on for the past several weeks. Um, this week it's about, our focus will be about relishing the love of God for each one of us, especially in the forgiveness that he offers to us. And so this time um, for the next week, you'll spend time reflecting on God's mercy. Mercy is a word we sort of use, you know, um, we think about in movies and books, you know, people that, that go to court and say, you know, I throw myself on the mercy of the court. And, and then we talk about mercy in terms of God, and sometimes we equate the two things. Um, and so mercy is, God's mercy is unlike human mercy. Um, so in a courtroom setting, somebody might extend mercy towards the other person in a juridical sense. Um, but God's mercy goes beyond forgiveness. And uh, so he, God off, obviously offers forgiveness. But then he goes further and offers to pick us up after we fall in time after time after time. He doesn't just say, okay, I forgive you, and then leaves us on the floor but encourages us to get back, gives us tools, and um, offers us grace to stand back up. So this week isn't about trying to figure out how God could forgive our sins or our pattern of sins that we examined last time, but it's, um, it's about marveling at how much God loves us and is willing to fully forgive us. And so one of the images you might use for this week is the, from the scriptures, the story of the prodigal son. Um, and I would encourage you to find an image. There's so many people have painted or drawn or um, sculpted different images of the prodigal son. I'd invite you to go online and find one that resonates with you. Um, uh, this is just one that we've had here in church. Um, and so use that image and think about the forgiving father just embracing his son. His son who had done everything wrong and, you know, basically spat in his face. And so he offers forgiveness. And most of the paintings of the prodigal son involve the father embracing the son. So find one that resonates with you. Um, and imagine you in that brace, embrace and stay in that spot for a while, feeling what it is to receive God's mercy. Maybe imagine yourself what it must be like to be God, to be so in love with someone, to extend, to want to extend this mercy that not only forgives but lifts up and brings them on. I have created another uh, PDF resource. Of course, our printer here isn't working moment at the moment, so you can look at yours. I just can't hold it up. <laughs> um, so that will help you throughout. Um, it has some thoughts about what the week's about and then uh, a way to pray with. Um, and again, those prayers, they're written. Um, they might not be in your language, so change it to be in your language. It's just meant to be a guide to help you start a conversation with God. So I have one more image to offer as we think about this uh, week. Um, I, if you're a parent or a grandparent or uh, an aunt or an uncle or have watched little children and as they begin to learn how to walk and you stand there and you watch the child take a few steps and you're all excited and then the baby falls down or the young person falls down. Um, and so in that response, use that response. Now, if as the adult, you frowned at the baby and said, you know, you'll never learn and how disappointed you are in them, the child's self-image would be quite negative and they would be slower to get up, if at all, they would stay on the ground. But instead, as most people, as they're watching their children take their first steps, um, you're usually excited and encouraging and you know when they when they fall you smile and say it's okay come on get back up you can do it and you're very encouraging um, and that's what God's that is a version of God's mercy for us none of our analogies will ever equate to the mercy that God ex extends but in this when you think about the parent encouraging and lifting the child back up knowing that they can make it um, that it 
even when we are hurting because of sin, God hurts with us. And he, he wants to be encouraging us to, you know, don't stay down there. Come back up. It's okay. And so together, um, with the grace of God's mercy, we can stand and keep moving, trying to take just the next step, imagining that, um, and, and trying to be as free as we possibly can, um, free in the love that God shares with us, to take the next step and walk into the future along with God. So this week, uh, let us experience the joy that, of the reality that we are sinners loved by God, loved beyond belief. And so have a good week.